Hi everybody. Um, Jack's here. I can't tell if I'm wonky or not. I might be wonky. The kids got the camera. No, I'm making you feel sick. Sorry. I'm all excited. <laughs> I've been naughty. Let me do. Let me do the. I finish something first. So. Bunny has a butt or has a tail. He's so cute. That's just <laughs> gorgeous. So, uh, again, this is Sharon Ayala's pattern. Dress me, Bunny. His ears are either forwards or backwards. They're having nothing in between. I might have to put some extra stitches in. So, yes, that's the bunny. He oh, is done. He is nice. That's the bunny. He's done. He's nice and big. He's very cute. He's nice and big. And, uh, and cute. Yeah, made his pom pom last night. Yep. Today, I went to post something off for Barry. Hi, Barry. Hi, Amy. Um, yeah, I went to post something off. And I had to go to the post office the other day to fetch a parcel from Carol. Hi, Carol. I still keep looking at it going, I can't believe she sent all that. Um, and I'm playing with Barry's cake that he made me. <laughs> um, yeah, I went down the other day, and there's a shop across the road from the post office called, what is it, Dow Rimples or something. And it's been there forever, and it has like posh lady clothes in and stuff. And I just happened to notice in one of the side windows, it's like some cones of yarn. I was like, ooh. But I had to get back to fetch Jack, and you know, there's no time. Jack, shh, 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 darling, come on. Jack's a robot at the minute. Um, so I went past today, and we weren't in a particular rush, and one of the cones said special Jack. Hush, please said special discount or special price five pounds. I'm like, is it just that one or is it that are they all five pounds or so you know you go and investigate don't you and there's a cone cone of yarn for five pounds and she says oh I've got some more in the back I meant to put some more out. Off she off she went, bless her. Um because I saw this one. It's massive it's massive. I've not weighed it because I've just got home and I'm so excited. <laughs> um, it says inside Antarctic oatmeal Tilsa yarns. That is a big cone of yarn. And it's DK? It's not an arrow. So DK weight. Five pounds. So, you know, you don't just buy one, do you? She says, oh, I've got loads at home. Do you think, I'm not overpriced now. I was like, no, you're seriously not overpricing it. Jack, you're banging the, look, you're rocking the camera, behave yourself. Don't put them in there, because they need to go in the cupboard, don't they? Just leave them on the table. Um, so I got this one, which has got a little bit of fluff and stuff on it, but to be honest, I can trim that off. So it's, um, I don't get too much light, it's sort of ready brown tweedy kind of thing obviously not as much on that one as this one but it's slightly thicker five pound and then she says she brought some up and it was a really nice pale blue but it was thin super thin i was like i'm not gonna do anything with that and then she appeared with this one i don't know if you'll get the proper light it's blue and green Oh, it's not got anything written inside it, but um, it's thin. And I said to her, I'm a bit worried, it's like super thin. And she says, well, I had someone buy one the other day, and they just wound off what they wanted, and then, like, held it double. And with this much on it, you can afford to hold it double a bit, can't you? Leave it. Leave it. Please, leave it. I'll sort it. Thank you. You're welcome. Get out of the bag. I thought you were going outside, you need your shoes on. I'm getting them on. Got bags. Anyway, so, five pounds. <laughs> I've not quite got to how I'm going to explain the three massive cones of water, Paul. As I said, we keep it secret and don't worry. I don't like keeping secrets. Gosh, you don't. But I mean, oh my god, five pounds. You can't not, can you? I mean, back me up, people. Five pounds. And it's not, I, it, I don't know what it is, but I, I don't, I don't think I'm 
think it's acrylic. This one doesn't feel like acrylic anyway. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> she, she's got loads, so she's going to bring some more in. So I, was like, I will definitely keep an eye out because she's well, you, you can have them and you, you sell them on eBay or something. I was like, I was like, I don't part with wool. But what I might do, I've got some ice yarn cotton that I bought a while ago and one of them is far too bright for anything I would ever wear. Um, so I may stick that on, on eBay or something at some point. Um, yeah, If I can hide these, it'd be fine. I've got the birthday yarn away and then I pulled out, I'm going to reach past you. <laughs> Sorry. I pulled out this. You've done it mate, push. Push, big push. Oh, hang on before Jack falls flat on his face. One second. I'm back. Sorry. So yes, I, I don't know what I'll do with any of these. It doesn't matter, does it? it? doesn't matter. That one is probably going to be a big chunky. Not the orange chunky. It's going to be a big blanket or something, I would think. This one, I just don't know. Feels nice. Just want to hug it. It's just the right size to hug. So yes, I'm very pleased with my fifteen pounds that I've got to tell Paul I spent on more wool. But the way I see it, it's like mariner cones are sort of six fifty, and they're acrylic and um, not. You can't, I know I've not seen any variegated in it, and other cones I've seen have been more expensive. So I don't think it's too bad. And my weekly. Oops, I had to go to the post office. I hate chirping birds. <laughs> and I had to buy I some more. Yeah, chirping birds. Yeah, chirping bird is very good. Can I have the birdie house? It's under the table, I think. Right, I'm gonna go because Mr. Obviously wants to go play outside and stuff. So I hope everybody's well. Um, I'm going to go and find hiding places for these. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye. Can't turn you off.